seen you around here for a while? Yeah, well, I've been away. Okay. Anyway, I'm back now, right? No doubt about it. What's your name again? Um, Blossom Russo. Oh, yeah, right. I like that name. Thanks. Hey, that's not real, is it? What, this? Hey, Jimmy, put that away, please. You're scaring me. I mean, what are you doing with a gun in school? What are you doing with a gun at all? Don't say a word, okay? I just brought in to scare someone. It's not real. Sure looks real. That's the idea. We do not. Oh, we do too. And if one of us dies, the other one will croak within six months. <laughs> so, where were you today, Miss Lemure? I had detention. Detention? For what? It all started when Mike Martino tagged Miss Bouchard's desk with spray paint. Mike Martino. Do I know him? They call him Gorgo. Oh, Gorgo. Who taught him how to use a spray can? I think that beats. Oh, the dumb leading the dumb. I know. Anyway, when Miss Bouchard discovered that her desk was... That was it. She went, like, ballistic. He wouldn't fess up, but nobody else had the nerve to tell on him, so the whole class got detention. Well, I think that stinks. I mean, why is everybody at school so committed to this... this code of silence? <laughs> Fear, I guess. Fear of kids on dope. Fear of gangs. Fear of getting beat up. Fear of guns. Who said anything about guns? You promise not to say anything? What is it? I promise. No, I mean, you've got to swear you're not going to say anything. I swear, I swear, I swear. Okay. Um. Jimmy Kelly has a gun in his locker. Oh, my God, we've got to call Janice Garfall. Six. <laughs> Are you sure it was real? No, but it sure looked like it was. It wasn't just like a, a toy or a bar of soap or something, was it? No, it was like a gun. He said he brought it in to scare somebody, which he was pretty successful at. He sure scared the hell out of me. What are you going to do? I don't know. Maybe there's a movie of the week in this. <laughs> Come on, Blossom. Well, there's that number you can call anonymously, you know? I just don't know what else to do. Well, yeah, I mean, that that's good. You call the number right on him and nobody knows it was you. That way you don't have to worry about getting shot on your way to biology. <laughs> Unless, of course, he figures it out and gets another gun. In which case, our whole class gets off half a day early for your funeral. <laughs> So there's an upside to this. 
You know, the downside is if I turn him in, I could feel guilty the rest of my life. I mean, he could get expelled. So kill someone. Well, that's it, Pete. With a set list like this, we'll be able to get work anywhere. I sure could use the extra cash. I haven't had a haircut since 1969. <laughs> Luckily, I've been getting trims from God. <laughs> well, I'm already rich, so I'm going to use the money to build a cave underneath my mansion from whence to fight crime. Cool. Come on, let's call some people and find somebody who'll give us a gig. Let's see, uh... Okay, Sid Axelrod. Sid Axelrod? He died 15 years ago. You're kidding. What happened? Dropped dead in 97. No reason. <laughs> oh. Hey, what about Sam Hur? He's dead, too. Shot by his girlfriend. Oh, my God. Hey, how about Nancy Sanchez? Now, she always gave us gigs. She's in prison. What for? Shooting Sam. <laughs> Did you head cats find a gig or what? Times sure have changed, Joe. Well, you couldn't find a club, huh? No, plenty of places. What well, was it, the money? Yeah. They want us to pay them. <laughs> huh? We have to buy the tickets from the club, sell them at a higher price to make any profit. It's called pay to play. Sell tickets? That's crazy. <laughs> we'll buy a ticket to see you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Pay to play. What do they think of next, huh? Even I'm not stupid enough to fall for that one. <laughs> sure you are, Joe. How many you want to buy? Hello, is this the anonymous hotline? No, 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 no. Um. Hello, is this the anonymous hotline? <laughs> No, that's ridiculous. Um, hello, is this the anonymous hotline? <laughs> For God's sakes, just pick up the phone and make the call. What, am I crazy? Why do I want to make an enemy of a guy with a gun? It probably wasn't real anyway. But what if it is real? It's an anonymous hotline. No one will know it's me. I'll just do what any civilized, rational adult would do. Hello. Um. I'd like to report the presence of a gun. So, you blew the whistle, huh? Don't say it like that. You make me sound like some kind of stool pigeon. Well, if the feathers fit. Finny. No, you did the right thing. You really mean that? Yeah. You know, it's like the Godfather. You did exactly what Fredo would have done. Fredo sold out his whole family. You remember they shot him on Lake Tahoe? So you got nothing to worry about unless your father sends you to Vegas to learn the gambling business. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this to me. Look, I'm just kidding you. You absolutely did the right thing. You really, truly believe I did the right thing? You did the only thing you could do. Seriously, you've got nothing to worry about. I guess. Want to go get something to eat? Sure. You go start the car. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I could have opened it. Okay, everybody, back off. Come on, I mean it. Get to class. I'm telling you, there's nothing in there. Can't find anything. I told you, why would I have a gun? Okay, Jimmy. I had to check it out. There's your lock. I told you not to say anything, didn't I? Jimmy, Don't I worry. They'll get yours, kid. I promise. 
some clown selling something. Whoa! Can you tell me how to get to Blueberry Lane? I don't know. Follow the blueberries. <laughs> you mind if I come in? Uh, you're not going to steal anything, are you? Well, that depends. Do you have any midget firemen? Wait a minute, I'm not falling for this one. I tell you where the midget firemen are, you shove them in those big pants and you're out of here before I know it. <laughs> Speaking of the little firemen, is there a bathroom around here? Wait a minute. I know you. No, I just have one of those faces. No, you worked at my sixth birthday party. Joey Russo, don't you remember me? Let me take a wild stab at it. You were the one who blew out the candles. Yes, you do remember me. <laughs> well, what was your name again? I'm Frosty the Clown. I'm a classically trained clown. I graduated clown college. I know clown college. You do? Yeah. It was one of the two schools that accepted me based on my academic record alone. The other one was uh, security guard college. <laughs> Joey Russo. Whoa! I love that. <laughs> I like you, son. So, Frosty, you still doing the uh, clown thing? <laughs> no, I'm president of Exxon. <laughs> Are you going to help me find Blueberry Lane or what? There are a lot of little kids at a birthday party with frowns on their faces. And if there's one thing Frosty hates, it's little kids. Yeah, I know where Blueberry Lane is. It's up in the hills. Up in the hills is a description filled with mystery, but lacking in ooh, direction. It's in Shimmer Oaks. Ah, thank you, Bird. And where exactly am I now? Hey, uh, Frosty, are you a little drunk? I was a little drunk this morning. Now I'm big time drunk. You know what? Why don't you give me the keys to your car and I'll drive you to this party. You're too kind, sir. Your keys? Huh? Keys. Oh, yeah. keys. I hope one of these is the car. No, they're all keys. <laughs> What? A gun. A gun? Why didn't you say something about this to me earlier? Well, I called the school hotline and reported it. They searched his locker, and of course it wasn't there. He knew it was me. Did he threaten you? Well... What exactly did he say? He said, you'll get yours, kid. I'm calling the principal. Dad, the principal has gone home for the day. Then I'm calling the police. He's not going to shoot me. How do you know that? Dad, he is not a killer. He is a quiet, unassuming kid who keeps mostly to himself. This is not helping me, Blossom. The first thing in the morning, I am calling the principal. Wish I'd never seen that gun. Hey, you did the right thing. I'm proud of you. Well, I keep thinking maybe I overreacted. I mean, maybe he just brought in a toy gun to scare somebody. Well, it was wrong anyway. He shouldn't have brought it in at all, period. Hey, Blossom. Hi, Mr. Russo. Oh, great lasagna. We were having meatloaf. Hey, Six, grab a plate. Oh, by the way, I sold my mom a ticket to your show. Oh, hey, that's great. I'll put her name on the list. Oh, no, she can't come. She just felt sorry for you. Thanks, Six. That's a real pick-me-up. Anyway, that's a grand total of seven tickets. And three of those are comps. 
could be worse. Okay, it's pretty bad. I can't believe you're doing this for money. Well, it's a jungle out there. Yeah, it's kill or be killed. Tell me about it. living this thing well a clown's life is not what it used to be it was once a noble profession but now it's just a bunch of clowns can you get a job in an office or something what and after putting on one of those ridiculous monkey suits no i have always been devoted to the circus and then Daphne died. My wife. My elephant. She was... She was my best friend. Well, uh, can't you just get another elephant? Where am I gonna get another elephant? I don't know. Pet shop in a really big city? <laughs> Another elephant. <laughs> Pull over, Joe. You know what they say. You don't own formula. You rent it. <laughs> Zippers. Be careful up there, Frosty. Uh. Wow. Is it beautiful up here or what? It certainly is. It would be perfect if it weren't for all those damn lights. Man, what do you think those are? <laughs> Did you know? I did a tightrope act early in my career. Just me and Daphne up in the spotlight. How'd you get an elephant on a tightrope? She drank too. <laughs> you know, um, Frosty, when I heard you scream back there, I thought that, it uh... I jumped? Yeah. I thought about it. Hey, Frosty, do you want some help? I don't even know you. I know, but do you want some help? I got a party. I got to get to a party. Frosty, do you want some help? I want some help. So what's your So what's your story tonight? Hey, hey, meeting. Don't you ever get tired of going to those meetings? Nope. I mean, sometimes I resent the fact that I have to go, you know. But then I get there and I always hear something good. Something positive. Someone a little more pathetic than me. Cheers me right up. Cool. How about you? Things back to normal at school? Still a few people not speaking to me. Remember their names, because they're idiots. Yeah, I guess. Well, things were never like this when I was in high school, and that wasn't too long ago. Can you believe my school is getting metal detectors? I know. It's like the Wild West. <coughs> Except whiskey's been replaced by crack. Yeah. Yeah, six shooters have been replaced by Uzis. Horses have been replaced by lowriders. Smoke I signals. Got it, Tony. <laughs> Cellular phones. All I'm saying is it's getting pretty scary. Yeah. You know, we ought to get a lot of these clowns off the street. Hey guys. Did you plan that? No. I swear. Tony, Blossom, I'd like you to meet Frosty. He's a clown. 
No kidding. We also need some help, guys. Yeah, I recognize the signs. You wouldn't happen to recognize a cup of coffee, would you? It's coming right up, Frosty. And who's this lovely young thing? This is my sister, Blossom. Blossom? I knew a Blossom once. She was a small chihuahua they shot out of a cannon into a lion's mouth. What the hell of an act. <laughs> then one day, someone forgot to feed the lion. Circus people. <laughs> hey, Tony, you're not by any chance going to an AA meeting tonight, are you? Yes. I think you could take Frosty with you. Joey, I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but Frosty is a clown, and it's not my night to provide the entertainment. Tony, he asked me for some help, and he's got nobody else to turn to. Sure I do. What's your name again? Blossom. I know a Blossom. Why? Get this clown to a meeting, Tony. Right, all right. I'll take him. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Good luck, Frosty. Thanks for the laughs. Well, thank you, Joey, and I really mean that. Let's get going, Frosty. And don't worry, you'll be just as funny sober. But you folks won't be. Say good night, Frosty. Good night, Frosty. <laughs> bucks a piece tonight. Five dollars. Good thing I quit doing drugs. <laughs> uh. Hey, thanks, Pete. For what? Uh, you know, for going along with this whole thing. You know, in theory, this, this ticket idea could make money. Yeah. In theory, so could Euro Disney. <laughs> hey. You played great tonight, man. So did you. I know it cost you 180 bucks, but you played like it cost you a million. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, let me oh, help you with that. Come on. Oh, 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 Let's play one for old times, hey. Might as well. We paid for the room. <laughs> yeah, I got one. Remember this? <laughs>